Hello everybody, welcome to a World of Warship Bits video and in today's video we have the Tier 6 Premium French Light Cruiser, the De Grasse, which was one of, when I first started in the game there was no French cruiser line, there was no French battleship line, there were just three French premiums and this was one of them and I won this in a crate, so this was my first ever French ship. Um, now, to be fair, the De Grasse has some things against it and some things for it. So it is very similar to La Glacinière, which is the Tier 6 uh, French uh, light cruiser, the Tech Tree Line. The advantage is that the um, La Glacinière actually, in some respects, is a better ship. Um, when you're earning experience in it, you're earning your way up the line, which is really good. Um, it has rapid reload instead of this rather useless... Um, um, AA defense. Um, so, in that respect, the Glacionia is actually a better ship. However, um, what uh, De Grasse has going for it is it has a phenomenal looking camo, which you can see me playing with there. Um, in fact, that's probably the main reason I was playing with this ship, apart from the fact I need to train up a French captain, was that um, it's been a while since it's in the camo out. Uh, the grass actually has a slightly better fire chance than La Glossinier, um, only slightly. You can see that I'm exposing way too much of the ship to enemy fire, but it's okay, we'll just get out of dodge. Um, the other thing, of course, being a premium is that you can swap captains in and out of it, and my I have a French captain that I'm training up to try and get to level 10 so that I can get that rapid reload increased for the Le Terrible. However, that captain is in the Charles Martel, which means that uh, training requires premium ships, which is why the De Grasse is coming out today. So, De Grasse plays very much like, um, well, I suppose most French cruisers play at a distance. And um, I'm using HE a lot for De Grasse. I may actually be aiming for some sort of, um, oops, that was a big miss. I may be aiming for some sort of um, light X numbers of fires, and the grass is fantastic for that sort of... Uh, well, that was a bit wasted. Wow, that was a long time to get a first strike, and it cost me a lot of health. So I'm going to have to maintain distance. The other thing that a grass does, um, which um, is quite good, and the Charles Martel, which is the Charles Martel, is that the majority of the guns are in the front. So it's got two turrets in the front, one turret in the rear, and if things get a little bit tight, well, you can just bow tank. And although you lose a third of your firepower, uh, you definitely, definitely take a lot less damage. So, you know, to make up for it. Um, so, yeah, so what I'm trying to do here is keep, keep it extreme range, because it can hit at extreme range, it light fires, and um, just be a difficult target. Um, see, hopefully these ships have something more urgent to deal with, rather than um, little old me. <clears throat> here in my um, in my light cruiser so um, yeah, we're just trying to light fires on the sucker um, unfortunately he seems to be relatively burn proof um, we're following him in so he can't outrun us he's going back to home base um, he is a bit exposed and if he has some friends around him then they can respond with appropriate firepower to start to drive off some of the people that are uh, menacing him like I am but um, it doesn't look like he's got much in the way of friends. Um, at extreme range, dispersion is a little bit of a problem in that um, there are a few misses there. But as you can see, you know, it's patience. Um, okay, then. Well, four hits out of nine isn't great. And uh, part of it's probably because my shooting's less than ideal. He's, he's a dodging target. Well, he's a battleship. He's a dodging battleship. I can't use that as an excuse. Anyway, there you go. Another fire. And we land some more on him, but unfortunately he's put a previous fire out. He's got two fires going, it's the beginning of the end, and that's what this ship certainly excels at. Um, the torpedoes are good, very long range. They they have a slightly wider spread. They're like um, French torpedoes, which generally have a good range, not as good as the Japanese, and the spread is a little bit wider. So at the edge of their, of their run... Um, you will find that they, they do create gaps that ships can slip through. I've, obviously these damage controls come off cooldown because those two fires are gone. Which means that that fire is just going to stick around and he hasn't got a lot of health left. If this doesn't take... Oh, no, he did have a damage con. He, he, he put out that last fire, but still. 
didn't help. Um, and there we go. Um, yes, uh, a ship sunk, or another ship sunk. So we're moving into the cap. Um, there are uh, two destroyers left, three ships on our team. Our carrier, um, who I, oh, it looks like, so our carrier is keeping at least one of the destroyers spotted, which is ideal. The other destroyer is going to be a bit of a challenge. I'm not detected yet. Um, so for the equipment loadout for this, I don't use um, the concealment um, because you tend to fire at long range, the concealment doesn't, it's not like um, with the Leander, let's say, where you are trying to get, um, you know, to within a very good killing range. Um, he's got torpedoes out. Um, we've got to count them. And um, yeah, once he's got his once he's once he's fired his torpedoes. In fact, in some respects, with ships like these, um, it's a bit of a conundrum that you face. So I'm going to put some torpedoes, try and force him back into, force him to steer away, so that he can't get a good solution on me, so I can keep all my guns on him. Um, he's burning quite nicely. Um, he's having to make the choice about where to turn because he's heading straight towards our Fuso. And right at the end of the game, we take him out for the third kill and the Iron Fortress. So that is to the grass. Um, I do enjoy it. Um, I'm enjoying the Charles Martel. Um, yeah, good at long range. Um, you know, keep it distant and um, keep lighting those fires. So, um, yeah, it comes off the team, which is nice to see. 155 main battery hits. Some torpedo hits, but in cruisers, torpedoes are, well... Yeah. Anyway, to the grass. Beautiful camo, great ship, love it to bits. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.